What's up guys, things are looking great. As you can see from the tanks, things are doing okay, doing well, doing fine in these two systems. Just showing you a little bit of a quick look. I'll get more into depth on what's going on with these tanks and you know what corals I moved from the other tank in the bedroom into the living room tank and so on. But let's take a quick look at the other. Here's the office tank and the office tank is doing fairly well. A little bit of an algae issue, but you know, it is what it is and corals are growing and some corals have uh you can say bailed out i had a couple torches just uh torch heads just uh do a polyp bailout so it is what it is other than that corals are doing fine corals are doing great and yeah. this system here and um this one's gonna be going into another 525 red sea i got the new one here it just came in and I am pleased with it. It's got the, um, what is it? The, um, uh, it's just a, it's just the better version tank. It's not really the G2, but it does have the armored seams, those plastic seams or whatever that they have in their newer version G2 tanks. So it's pretty much built the same, but the overflow blocks is the old 525, just like you see here. But it is a new and improved uh, tank. And I do believe that I got the, uh, the plywood stand because those boxes were pretty heavy. But um, I will know later on when I get more into depth and in, in opening up the boxes. But um, the tank itself, I did open it up, look at it and everything. And everything's going to be doing well when I do the tank transfer. Um, I am going to be doing videos showing you guys what's going to be going on with that. But I am going to do a little bit of... Uh, little bit of um you can say restructuring with the display on this end this portion of the tank will pretty much look the same but i'm gonna probably take some of the corals in the back end over there probably put them over here and create more like of an archwork coming this way so you can kind of see it going this way and this way so it looks a little bit more like they're swimming through things and obviously that sand bed that's being built up over there because of the fact that the rassies will be more down because i'm not going to use fine sand like I did in this tank it's gonna be much more coarse and, and it's gonna it's just gonna be better just like I did in my living room tank and I am hooking up the GHL computer in the new stand so I'm gonna get the new stand built hook the GHL it's gonna be awesome when it's done and um, just doing a little cleanup in my frag tank right now uh, I put some nopox in there try to kill some of the algae in there so I have a lot of it uh, a lot of that stuff just swimming swimming around the system <laughs> so I got to clean that up um, but then I'll do a little video on that. I'm going to be getting rid of all the frags in there as well. But uh, this is what it is right now. And I will be doing some videos on the new tank transfer, which will be coming up soon. All right, guys. Peace. Tank. So I am pleased with that. So you can see it's all there. So I guess that's what they mean by fixing the problem of, you know, the silicone issue. But, um... I'm gonna go ahead and uh, examine more of the tank, but this is it, guys. And um, yeah, so install coming up soon. And we'll see what's going on with that. And got it all here. It's right there. All right, peace.